Welcome back, everybody. Another episode of Throwbacks, Throwdowns. Duffy Castagna, how are you doing tonight? Good. Doing well. Awesome, Glad awesome. Guys. How are yes. you? I'm doing well. I'm, I'm excited for our topic tonight. You're only doing See, well? Yeah, you know, well. Not, not too well. But we have a good topic. Maybe that'll cheer me up a little bit. So Look volume, a little blue. I'm feeling a little blue. <laughs> you know, this Leonardo background's really, really changing me as a person. I don't know what it is. It's really overcoming me. <laughs> but we are going to get into a volume two of a topic that we've touched before. It was a forgotten cartoon from our childhood. You know, not a mainstream cartoon per se, something that maybe was only around for a little while or something that we remember vaguely, but we have a fond memory of it. And that's what we're, that's what we're, going to do tonight forgotten favorite forgotten cartoons so i'm going to put five minutes on the clock and duffy if you'd be All so right. kind to hit that gong when you get a second there and i'm going to throw it to you duffy what is a favorite forgotten cartoon of yours hmm i'm gonna go with garfield and friends um, yeah, <laughs> I remember watching this thing, you know, this cartoon, when I was, you know, a little kid all the time. And for the longest time, I thought Garfield's voice was Bill Murray. I don't know if I like anyone else had that kind of thought. I yeah, know yeah. Like, whoever voiced him just sounded like Bill Murray, but uh, anyway, I've got, I've got a yeah. connection, connection there for you. I'll let you, okay. after, when we're done, all right. I'll all right. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just enjoyed the cartoon yet. Otis, uh, what was that guy's name? Um, something, uh, Orville oh. Redenbacher. <laughs> John, John Arbuckle. John Arbuckle. And uh, Odie. had, uh, what was the, the girl cat name? Nemo, Nemo or Nemer? Or... Here, here's one for you. Nermal. It's Nermal. Not girl. Nermal's not a girl. I thought that was a girl cat. Really? I would think, I would thought I so too, but Nermal's a, boy. Nermal's a boy. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I, yeah, you caught me off guard there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm mostly talking though about the and friends part. Which uh, you know followed the characters on the farm. I think uh, Cass, you were saying, uh, what was the name of that? The U.S. Acres. Yes, that's what it was. With uh, you know, there was the pig and the and uh, what's it, Wade Duck or something like that. And yeah, they just went around. They went through their adventures as they were going around on the farm. But I, you know, I distinctly remember that part of Garfield and Friends, and it was just uh, yeah, it was just enjoyable and uh, different. But uh, didn't really fit too much with the Garfield. But that's kind of what they did with cartoons back then. They would have like the main thing, and then they would have like little sub parts of the the show. But that's yeah. my yeah, that's my answer. Good choice. Good choice. Good theme song, too. Um, Castania. I am going with the cartoon that didn't really air for very long. This is another before school cartoon, one that I watched before school going to the first grade, and it's James Bond Jr. Any recollection? You guys remember? Did you watch it? Do you ever hear of it? I remember the theme. Like, I remember parts of the theme song, but I don't remember the show at all. <laughs> Yeah, don't, James, don't recall. James Bond Jr. chases scum around the world. Um, James Bond Jr. was James Bond's nephew. It's not how names work, but you know, apparently he's Jr. Uh, and he's he's in high school ish. Oh. He's in he's in an academy or whatever. And there's he's friends with IQ, who's supposed to be Q from the James Bond series grandson and he's the one who tries to come up with all different devices and stuff and they would always kind of blow up in his face first and then um then they'd work but yeah he's a spy who fights scum scum is the organization he fights and I had to write down what it stands for it's saboteurs and criminals united in mayhem scum <laughs> nice. um but it, it was it was an action adventure spy show that was for kids around our age i watched it when i was six years old before school get me all amped up had the awesome theme song like i said and i remember particularly they always had commercials where <laughs> james bond jr would go a chocolate milkshake please shaken not stirred <laughs> nice <laughs> um yeah i don't agree with that though shaken milk sh no you well, it's, it's like a martini i know but still well they don't call it a milk stir duff they call it a milkshake <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but i don't remember plots really uh jaws from james bond was in it and he was actually pretty terrifying looking in the cartoon he was huge you know like the actor who played jaws in the movies didn't really have the same appearance but 
It's worth looking up on YouTube. It's uh, was it it's was it like his Jaws's grandson or was the actual adult Jaws adult. like one of the don't remember it wasn't uh-huh. a kid it was it was an adult yeah. so oh wow that is scary. supposed to be the jaws yeah oh. wow all right good pick james bond jr it's a throwback there all right i'm gonna uh so my, my pick <clears throat> is a very old cartoon initially aired in the 60s the mid 60s but later came in to nickelodeon um 93 94 apparently is what it was i remembered it being a kid and the name of the show was underdog there is no need to fear. Underdog is here. Yes, the adventures of Underdog. Uh, his alter eager, alter no, not oh, eager, ego. Alter eager. <laughs> he was very <laughs> eager. His Mark alter ego. Down. Mark that down. <laughs> yep. Shoe, shoe shine boy. That was his alter ego. He was a shoe shining oh, yeah. dog. Yes, and he would run into the phone booth, and the phone booth would blow up, and out would come Underdog to fight such villains as. Simon Bar Sinister and Riff Raff. Didn't have much memory of them. Um, just remember, like, oh, there's a timer, but I'm going to keep going for a second. Um, I remember, <clears throat> like, coming home from maybe kindergarten or uh, preschool, like, t- p- turn it, p- turning this on, like, afternoons on Nickelodeon, like, early afternoon, two, three o'clock or something. I just remember they would have a slate of old, these old, tiny cartoons, and that was the one that always stuck with me for some reason. Really got a kick out of the, they had, like, the announcer over the, like, underdog is trapped in a car what are they gonna do this week or you know something <laughs> stupid but i don't know it's like campy but it was it was enjoyable especially because of alter eager no oh, alter eager yes alter eager. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna put two minutes on the clock and we could uh any honorable mentions or if you have something to say about one of the other person's picks we can do that so i will uh put two minutes on and cast i'll throw it to you first this time <clears throat> i love duff's pick Loved U.S. Acres, loved Garfield. So here's the connection. Lorenzo Music was the voice of Garfield. All right. Lorenzo Music voiced Peter Venkman in the first two seasons of The Real Ghostbusters. Oh. Lorenzo Music has since passed. Bill Murray did the voice of Garfield in the Garfield movies. So they do ah. sound similar. They were made, you know, they, they sound right. like that, each other. That makes sense. Um, All right. Loved Wade Duck in U.S. Acres. Loved Orson, who... Did he always um, walk around with an inner tube on? Is that what it that, was? That had his right. face on the front, yeah, and, it right. would, and the face on the inner tube would mock, uh, would mimic his face. That's right. Um, the unhatched egg, you know, partially hatched, whose name was Sheldon, shelled in. Yes, um, yes. And then uh, Orson, as voiced by Orson, our, friend, yep. our friend and uh, former podcast guest, Big Mike. Uh, <laughs> 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 go listen to it it's so accurate nice <laughs> uh, i liked underdog too i think i used to watch it on cartoon network i i have very minimal recollection of it I just it's yeah. one of those that if it was on i liked it enough to watch it nice nice <laughs> duffy <laughs> yeah i don't really remember uh watching james bond jr at all I, I vaguely remember it but just not watching it but i do remember a little underdog it had that uh that old timey feel to it, kind of like, you know, the whole Rocky and Bullwinkle type feel mm-hmm. with like the announcer type yep. thing going on there. So yeah, it was, those are, uh, that was a good pick. Uh, cast, yes. I'm not so much about your pick because I don't really know it. So <laughs> go with it. Yeah. Just, just watch the intro on YouTube and you'll like the theme song. <laughs> All right. Give, it a, Give shot. it a shot. Give it a shot. Yeah. I don't remember, uh, like I said, James Bond Jr. I remember the theme song. I don't remember actually watching the show was there a was there a video game of james bond jr there was i didn't even realize that but just i looked it up quickly on google and i saw there was a hit it might have been super nintendo but okay it was yeah. a video game i might have played that once because i have memory of that um mm-hmm. and garfield and friends i was always a big fan of that show um i just loved garfield i thought he was very funny loved garfield yeah. and odie um, and odie yes yeah and john arbuckle the perpetual loser. Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> AKA Orville Redenbacher. That's his alter eager. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on that note. <laughs> on that note, I want to thank everybody for joining us uh, this week. Hope you enjoyed our forgotten cartoon. We want to hear one of your favorite forgotten cartoons. So be sure to comment uh, here on YouTube and, and TikTok and Instagram. Let us know. We want to hear from you. Um, until next time, be sure to check us out, like I said, on social media at Throwbacks Technodrome Pod. Subscribe and like and ring the bell here on YouTube. And also don't forget about our audio only on Spotify and Apple Podcast. And until then, 
we will see you next time. Later. Always love chocolate. Ha, 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 ha.